Well, you guys, how much should I sell my old gaming PC for? I get this question quite a bit, and I see people struggling to sell their computer once they've built a new one. And let me give you some tips on what you can do and what you should look out for when you're selling your PC. Now, if your PC is in a sorry state like this one, then don't be selling it like this. I understand that you've just purchased a new computer and now you've lost love for your old PC and you just want to get rid of it. But you're never going to sell it if it's looking like this. This is where you need to put a bit of work in, spend a bit of time to clean out any old dirt and dust from the computer. This will attract more buyers when they're looking to buy a gaming PC and don't overprice the hardware that you have inside your PC. There's a lot of scammers out there that are trying to sell old rubbish for really expensive prices. Now, if your PC is looking like this, where there's a sort of rainbow puke going on and there's no color sequence to it and it's just full of dust and there's no love and care put into that PC, then no one's going to want to buy it. And especially if you try to scam people and overprice it. Now, what you want to do is you want to blow this out to remove all of the dust. Now, I have a blower to blow all of this out. But if you don't have one, you can use a compressed air like this. They're not the best, but you can still get away with it. And make sure you're cleaning out all of the radiator to remove any sort of dust. Also, the components inside your computer. If you have a graphics card, make sure all the fins are cleaned out and it looks pretty nice. Otherwise, it's not going to attract uh, buyers. Also, make sure you take plenty of photos in good lighting with a nice uh, ambient background in it to make sure you're getting the best looking PC. And don't overprice. And when you see everyone else's PC, make sure you're pricing it accordingly to the components that you have inside of your case. For instance, there's cases out there with some cheap components. This has a Ryzen 3800X, also that 2070 Super, which is one of the better ones on the market. It has that uh, good RAM inside here, which is the Corsair Dominator RAM. We have a, a Shakun Gold certified uh, power supply, and we also have the 360 millimeter RAD uh, from Arctic, and we have that uh, X570 motherboard from Asus Tough Gaming and a pretty decent graphics card, even by today's standards. So make sure everything's nice and clean like this, and uh, we want to get it all nice and clean so it looks reasonable like this one here. I've spent about 45 minutes giving it a bit of a clean and uh, making sure everything is okay. I've not deep cleaned it, I've just given it a reasonable clean. Make sure you remove the hard drive, or you can erase the data on that drive if you want to, if you don't have the time. Just go and buy yourself a cheaper drive, a small drive, stick it in there, put windows on it so it's got a nice fresh install of windows. And again, make sure you've got all of the RGB in the same color and make sure everything looks nice. And give yourself the best possible chance to try and sell the computer because believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there that are flipping computers and trying to make money at selling computers. And make sure that you list all of the items inside of your actual case so right down to naming the case naming the fans naming the actual uh, ram cpu and motherboard and everything else in there list everything as is and then basically once you've done that you can then stand the best chance of getting the most money for your build also check what components are selling for now remember because they're selling for that it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get that amount of money for your pc there's loads of different reasons why people buy certain particular types of hardware at certain times so make sure it's selling at that price uh, when you're selling your pc do a search for your cpu and put pc in there and if you see ones like this don't instantly think that that is going to sell for 750 pounds because no one in their right mind is going to give anyone £750 for something that looks like this. So this is exactly what you don't want your PC looking like if you're going to sell it. That is not worth £750 of anyone's money. And this one right here is definitely not worth £900 plus £25 shipping. So a Ryzen 7 3800X and an RX 580. And they want £900 plus £25 shipping, which is absolutely ridiculous. You can see the state of the build here. It's got cheap components inside. 
and it's not worth that amount of money. Now, I'm not sure what this guy's been smoking, but Ryzen 7 3800X, RTX 2060 and 32 gigs of RAM, and he wants £1,350 plus £25 shipping. And it says right here, all parts fully operational, great condition, had for one year, minor cosmetic wear. Now, I can tell you right now he's had that for more than a year, and again, it's just not worth that amount of money. So some people think because they've spent a bit of money on it a few years ago, and now they definitely want to try and get all that money back so they can go and buy a brand new computer. And it just doesn't work like that. Here's another one right here. Ryzen 3800X, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabyte SSD, £1,599. It's got GTX 1660 in it. He's never going to get that, and it'll just be sitting up there, and he wants £20 delivery as well. And it does come with a monitor, a curved monitor. And you can see here right down the bottom, alternatively, I could sell just the PC for £1,299. So the monitor, he wants quite a bit of money for. And guess what? The monitor's not worth that much money because you can buy a brand new one for £240. It's exactly the same. He's trying to get back the money that he paid for the PC back in the day. And now he wants to try and offload it all for £1,599. And you can build a brand new computer for that way better than what he's trying to sell. So a lot of people have this uh, idea of when they buy something that it's still going to be worth a lot of money when they come to sell it. And it just doesn't work like that. Now, this one has an RTX 2070 Super and also a Ryzen 7 3800X. He wants £750 for it. And he's got pictures of all the boxes and stuff, which doesn't make it any more valuable. But basically, when you break it down, he's saying it's worth £1,250, so grab yourself a bargain, and he's had it just over a year. Well, that processor was released in July 2019, and it has all pretty much budget parts in it, budget power supply, and also budget hard drives. And you can see here, break it all down, what you would get used. No matter whether he thinks it's in good condition, it's still used, and you're not going to get a lot of money for that processor, as you can see here. You'll probably be lucky to get £90 for it, and you'll get that as sold very quickly. The RAM as well is not that expensive, as you can see here, and he's got that same RAM in there. He's got the same power supply, and that goes sometimes for around about £35 to £40. And again, the motherboard is used, and you can see here it goes for around about £60 or something along those lines. And when you break that all down, the graphics card is around about £200, £180, give or take. And that's what that goes for as well. So those main components right there, they only come up to £420. And then you've got a cheap case, which is an aero call, and a cheap drive in there, which was a Western Digital Green. So even if you chucked another £120 on that, it's still nowhere near £750. And that's if you are lucky at selling it for those prices. And it doesn't matter whether you've had it a year or six months, it's used. And it will be a used price. It doesn't matter what condition it's in it's going to be a used price and uh, once you try to pitch that as a brand new computer it's not going to work the same thing for these refurbished ones you see here a lot of these have got used parts in them and they do have the brand new case but it doesn't make it a new computer it's still uh, used and again they're trying to uh, charge you know top dollar 1599 pounds for stuff that's pretty old it's a Ryzen uh, 3800X, which is, like I've said, it was released in July uh, 2019. You've got a 3070 in here, which is another sort of older card. It's not brand new. It's a few years old now. And they're just saying that basically some of this stuff is new. The power supply is going to be dirt cheap. They're not going to be putting high-end gear in these uh, builds, and they are going to be selling them at a big profit for themselves. So be very careful when you're buying stuff like this because it's not worth it and for that sort of money you can buy yourself a brand new computer everything brand new no used motherboards or anything like that you can build a brand new computer for that sort of money and you can see inside here it's got uh, the cheap ram inside here and uh, also you can see the budget graphics card it's not a really sort of high-end uh, graphics card it's an oem sort of card there and this is what you've got to watch out for, things like this. So be very, very careful. Now, another thing uh, to watch out for when looking for uh, these is the power supply. And these will be pretty uh, cheap. It's not going to be a high-end power supply because they're trying to cut costs. The same thing for ones like this, what to say, monster desktop PC 
uh, Ryzen 9 7950X. Now, that is a quite a decent chip, believe it or not. And uh, But when you read all of the small print and you read all of the information, no reserve, uh, uh, warranty, and things like that, if you read the small print, it will tell you there's no graphics card in here. It's just the processor. And uh, basically, the motherboard is there. And you've got one stick of uh, RAM, eight gigabytes of Vengeance DDR5. And the power supply is going to be no good to you because it's a Corsair 450 watt. So you're not going to be able to put a graphics card with that. So that is pretty much no good. It seems to me that these are, uh, you know, put together uh, where someone's started a project and they haven't finished it. And uh, it's just the fact that you're not going to be able to do much with it. The processor is the only good thing in there. And also the B650. Uh, motherboard one stick of ram is not going to do you much good so really steer clear from something like this because obviously uh, you're just going to get your fingers burnt fantastic pc with a monster cpu purchased in may no longer needed due to provision from work so it looks like he's robbed out the gpu and probably robbed out one of the sticks of ram it's got a really low end power supply in there as well which you're not going to be able to do much with you can't put a graphics card with a 450 watt power supply especially with that processor there, you're just going to have loads of bottlenecks if you put a cheap uh, you know, graphics card in there because it's a 7950X with 16 cores. So it's a pretty beefy uh, processor. So you may be saying to yourself, how much is my PC worth then? Well, depending on the condition it's in and the type of hardware you have in there, is it a budget graphics card or is it a much more uh, higher end graphics card that you purchase? Because you can get, say for instance, a cheap, 2070 super and you can get a really nice 2070 super like you see on the build that i had so looking at the specs and going through some of those specs on your pc you have to work out can you build a brand new pc uh, for the same price well this one right here does have a ryzen 5 7600 which does beat that 3800x and it's got some really good specs on here as you can see here and if you go right away through this is all brand new and it has an rx uh, 6700 xt and it's a pretty decent card, but it's going to be brand new. Everything in there is going to be brand new with a warranty and you're not having someone else's hand-me-downs. But if you look at this one right here, this is only at £943, which is way cheaper than a lot of those ones that I showed you earlier. So yes, it's more than £750, but it's brand new and it's going to have better components in it with better upgradability compared to what you're purchasing on them ones I showed you there. So that is uh, one of the ones that's in the 900 odd pound uh, mark. But there's a, an i5-13500 here. And also that is a very good processor. And you've got some good specs on here. Everything is going to be brand new. 32 gigs of RAM. Also, you've got the Adata 800, 2 terabyte M.2 in here. And some other good specifications like the 7900 XT. And this is £1,572, which is under the price of what some of those other ones were selling their PCs for, which had used and refurbished parts in them, whereas all of this is brand new, top quality branded parts, and it will be cheaper than, say, that £1,599 one that I showed you. There was two of them there that were at that price. So bear that in mind when you see uh, you know, PCs priced at that sort of price point, because you can have something like this, which is going to really outperform that uh, Ryzen 3800X. Also, it's going to be brand new and you're going to also have that warranty. Now, if you're looking for something on the more budget level, you've got the i3 versions 1300-100F. And this is still a very good processor, believe it or not. And on a single core, it'll probably outperform that 3800X. And going down the list here, you can see 16 gigs of RAM and you've got a bunch of other specifications like a 6600 uh, RX graphics card on here. Uh, you've got everything that's new, and this one, believe it or not, is only £743, which is comes under a lot of those other ones you see, and it's going to be brand spanking new. So bear that in mind, and it's the latest technology compared to buying something that's old. And this hopefully puts a little bit more perspective on what you can actually get for your system. Yes, it might be uh, you know clean, but it's still old. And if you look at the specifications, on pass mark here it will tell you the uh, sort of scores you can get overall and you can see here most of them will outperform that 3800x now the i3 obviously doesn't outperform it on a total score but it does outperform it on the single core which is the single thread rating which is 3642 
compared to 2721. So it's better on a single core, which is probably going to be better for gaming. So there is the actual stats. So I hope this one helps you out and gives you an idea of what your PC is actually worth. It's not as worth as much as you think it is. So bear that in mind when you're looking to buy a used computer or on the internet. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now. <music>